Today I'm going to show you how to add even when you can't memorize addition facts. Now I'm not saying you don't need to bother memorizing your addition facts. If you can do it, you really need to. I wish I could have. And I memorized most of them. There were some that just wouldn't stick for some reason. I don't know why. It wasn't that I didn't work really hard at it. I did. I just couldn't memorize them. And actually science has shown that there are a certain percentage of people it doesn't have anything to do with how smart you are that just can't memorize them. So I had to come up with another way. You can't go through life not being able to add. And I really don't want you to go through life being afraid of math or feeling like you're not good at it or you're not smart enough. It's just the way your brain may be wired. Anyway, there are a lot of really good methods out there for how to add using touch methods and stuff. When I was a kid, they didn't teach that, at least not in the school that I was taught in. You just had to memorize, and if you couldn't, well, you were just kind of out of luck. So I came up with this idea myself, and somebody else may have already done this. I'm not trying to take anyone's idea. I'm just showing you what I did. Like most kids, I played board games and other things that had dice. So I could look at a die. That's the singular for dice, by the way. I could look at a die and tell you what number was on the face without having to count the dots. So, for example, I know that this is a 1, this is a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, and a 6. And I don't have to actually count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to know that it's a 6 die. I just could look at it. So I thought I could use that to learn how to add. The problem, though, was when we add, we need numbers 1 through 9. And there aren't any dice for 7, 8, and 9 at least not ones that have dots on them. So I had to make my own. And what I did was I did a column for six, just like that, and then I added another column down the middle. So this would be a six, and then one more made seven. This would be an eight, so I had a six, and then two more made eight. And then this would be a nine with three in the middle. So six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so how do you use this to add? Well, it's really simple. I would just make this pattern with my pencil around the number. So I'm going to do it in red, but you can just do it with your regular pencil. I'm going to do it in red so that you can see how it works. So I don't need to put the dots around both numbers. But if that's what works for you, you can start that way. So 1, 2, and then this one gets a 4. So I just draw my little 4 that looks like the die. And now all I have to do is count my dots. So I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The answer is 6. Now that takes time, I know. It's a lot slower than if you can just memorize that 4 plus 2 is 6. But if you can't, at least this gives you a way to get the answer. Because if you guess, you're going to get it wrong. And in math, really, it's more important to be right than to be fast. So here's how you can do without having to put dots around both numbers. Now I always pick the bigger number, the 8, and then I put my dots around the other number. So I'm going to put a 6, I just make it look like the 6 die, around the number 6. So now I just say 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's important that you count the dots in the same pattern every time. This will make it faster and so that you later on you won't have to actually make the dots. You can just make the pattern. So I'm going to let you try this one on your own. You're going to say the number 8. You're going to put the 7 pattern. You're going to put the 7 pattern around the number 7. So on your paper, it should look like this. You've put the 7. I make my 6. That's how I always make my pattern. I don't know why I go back and forth like this. And that, that makes it so that I don't have to make the dots anymore. And I put one more in the middle. So this is a 6, and I put one more in the middle. OK, you ready? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I know the answer is 15. It doesn't matter. I, I count the two sides first. I always count my six first, and then I go down the middle for whatever it is. So like eight would be one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. If you don't count your pattern that way, that's okay. Just make sure you always count it the same way because later on you'll get to where you don't need to actually make the dots. You just have to make the motion with your pen or pencil or your finger. So for example, if I'm doing a four plus two, I know the pattern is one, two, but I'm not gonna make the dots. I'm gonna go four, five, six. See how I can just make the pattern? If I wanna add five plus nine, for me it's gonna go five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, then I come down the middle, 12, 13, 14. Try some on your own. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.